I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Shantae Moore speaks on her new duet with Eric Benet. All I got. Let me see. Let's do like look this. Look at them shades. Right? Look how cute you look. I'm Wait, look at that. Cool. I'm look doing my Eric Benet thing. You got th this thing going on. I like I that. Baby her. I, 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 you got the baby. You, you don't need no baby her. You got the corn roll. I like that. Okay. Okay. Damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they got no good sense. I, what's going on with you? First of all, first of all. May I tell you? Yes. As you take them glasses off. I'm taking them off. Beautiful right? self, with your beautiful, beautiful self. People are feeling this little thingy that we did together. Um, you are uh, clearly one of my favorite vocalists. And I, before you got on, I, I told the people how, you know, we would see each other at events and here and there. And it was always like, what? We got to get in the studio and whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, we finally did and it. We finally what? did it. This was the perfect opportunity. And I think it's the perfect song. And before we get into everything that you got going on and you got so much going on, man. Um, I'm putting real glasses on now. So oh, you put, see okay, well, if you're gonna put some glasses on, I'm gonna yeah, put some I'm glasses, I'm gonna put my- Back, cause I can't see nothing. I'm like, and uh, what you say? <laughs> so, from your perspective, because I, I talk too much, why don't you just say how this whole uh, So Distracted thing came about? Well, after a decade or two uh, <laughs> right? of uh, right? Uh, uh, talking about it, um, thankfully you have a project that you're doing and I, I really was always clear, I wanted to sing songs with you. And um, finally our schedules and our lives and everything lined up and uh, you played the song for me. Actually, you sent me the song. I think I first. did. I sent it to you. And me. man, from the first listen, I loved it. So I knew it was a hit because if I hear a song for the first time and fall in love, then I know for me that's a hit because I'm really critical. You know how yeah. we listen as yes. an artist. So especially when you've been doing it like for as long as we've been doing it, I can I can hear a hit. And it doesn't it doesn't matter what genre. It could be a country song, it could yeah. be hip hop, it could be like some alternative experimental shit, it could be uh rock. It don't matter. There, there's 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 definitely um I want to say almost an unintentional formula cuz it's not really a formula but it kind of is to a hit song. Yeah. It's, but it's something that makes it's under this gets you under your skin. Yeah. You don't even know it's doing what it's doing. You're just going yeah, and after right. it's over, I wanted to press play again. Exactly. So that's what I knew. The, the French call it the je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. But, <laughs> but yeah, there's always, there's always this unexplainable element to a song where you can stick to all the formulas. Okay, I'm going to make sure I hit that chorus by 40 seconds. I'm going to make sure it only lasts three minutes and 50 seconds. And I'm going to make sure the chorus elevates the right way. You can yeah. you can check all the boxes and still got got a very well-structured, not hit song. Yeah. But uh, but this one, um, it just it just really works. It, it just really works. And it feels good. And you I tell you, so, so when I first came up with the, the 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 melody of this song, this there's a couple things I pride myself in. I, I pick great restaurants to go to. I do that. <laughs> I, I I cook I cook a mean pot of greens, and and also if there is a duet that I need, uh, the, if there's a duet, I am I am really really good at choosing um, the right uh, uh, timbre and cadence and, and, and tone of a vocal that's gonna make it like pop. And I knew as soon as I heard the uh, the melody of the hook, I didn't have words at that point. It was just like all of a sudden, I was like, oh, me and Shantae. That's it. She worked, and then when I heard, when we got you in the studio, I said, you know, we put together a little um, a demo of the song. I sent it to you, and thank God you loved it. And when, listen, people, when she came to um, 
so distracted is the name of the song when when she came to, when she came to the song to put this vocal down me and randy randy is my production partner we was like oh my god she took it from like like 10 to like 15 and it's like it's such a feel-good song right yes it is it's a good good song uh, all the all the people that i really trust heard it and they were like oh my god when yeah. when are you singing it yeah. and once we sang it it was just when is it coming out and yeah. we knew you had other things to do and congratulations if you and tamar sound so good Love yeah well um, let, let's let's talk about we we uh, so much no, I ain't going to yeah. talk about that because I might make people mad. But <laughs> but thank you for that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Because, uh, um, yeah, uh, something we can make love to is, is just doing incredibly well. And now that people have been able to hear the full EP, I got to tell you, uh, Miss Mo, huh. the song that keeps coming back, this what y'all need to come out with next. This yes. thing right here. Word. Woo! Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Because it has um, what I like to think of as as a definitely an old school approach to songwriting, but sonically, uh, lo lots of newness. Yeah. And uh, you just kill it, man. And and I just love working with you. It's like yeah. it's like there, there is a, there's an ease. There's 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 a definitive ease, um, and it it's not always that way. Um, when working with somebody, we're like, hey, would you try that? How about we put a harmony here? And it's like, and then you're like, hey, how about we do this here? And it, yeah. it was just so easy. It just feels so good. Yeah. Flow. But I and think this to... comes from mutual respect. I think it comes from being good at what you do and right. respecting what you do, along with just wanting to do the best thing for the song and not being stuck on being the focus of the song 100%. as much as making the song great. Well said. And the other thing, the other thing that is not indicative Be of everyone. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. When I'm, when I'm writing a song and I'm in a studio um, and I hear my vocal and I know what I want to sing, I kind of go in the booth and then I sing it so I can move to the next part and I'm not spending a lot of time on it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, because I've got like three or four or five, six other like parts like that i'm coming up with as i'm doing yeah. that and i'm like okay let me lay that yeah. down oh let me do that let me do that and it is rare it is rare that, that i am able to work with another vocalist because i've worked with vocalists who are incredible singers but when they get in their booth it'd be like yeah oh that yeah. was a little um uh, a little pitchy right there uh close yeah. real close let's do but with you you know, you just go in there like, well, well shit, that was it. Um, next part, wow. shit, that was it. <laughs> you know, so a lot made of that. It easy. I will say the song made it easy. There are songs that I have to labor on, labor in, on, through. Me too, me yeah. too, actually. Yeah. Especially so. when I didn't write the song. When I didn't write the yeah. song, it can, it can be a labor. Because it's a stretch. And sometimes that stretch is difficult to to give the producer what they're looking for or the, you know, the writer, whoever is there. It's sometimes it's hard. It's hard to do. I know you worked with Lainey. Lainey is, is just known for just busting my bubble. Like, what? Oh, you thought that was good? Give it to me nine more times. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, see, the thing you. is, where, wherever that producer asks you to go, you have no problem going there. You're uh, that's that rare... not always true. That's not always true. It's 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 a challenge, and I like to be challenged. I don't like it when they're like, "Oh, that was good," and I'm like, "I have." Well, more how was that? How I was got I? more in me. How was that? You were truth. good. You were good because, I, well, the demo first of all was good. So I don't know the lady's name, but she did a great job. Yeah. And so she was already at the top of my register. Where I was like, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to sing this in that key. And then when I got there. Um, I th uh, it I think was, Amber. It was, I think Amber did that. One. Is that her name, Amber? No, no. She wait, did good. Wait, it, it was a combination of people. It was Nina and Amber. Okay. okay well, ahead. Nina and Amber did yeah. good. And then when I came in, I felt comfortable because um, sometimes that's the other thing is when you're singing, sometimes people don't pay attention. Uh, they're not focusing. Uh, focusing on you. Uh, in the moment. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> they're not focusing. Focusing on you in the moment so you can feel like you're in there by yourself because there's already the disconnect. So I think that's part of the thing. And then what was the other part is doing what I hear in my head. It's not always what comes out of my mouth. Sometimes you truth. think you're going to do something and it's a little different. So I'm grateful 
that it turned out the way it did. Whew. Ooh, Lord Ooh. Jesus, me too. Thank you. Heavenly Father, um, uh, I want to know, oh, I want to also tell the people that we shot a very, very cute, cute. Is that what you call it? Cute? It was, cute. it was, it was cute. And, uh, it was, it was sexy. <laughs> It got a little sexy for a moment. <laughs> I purposely shut up to see what you were going to say. Uh, but, but we did a little video, and it's, it was a lot of fun. And um, I don't want it's Stephen coming over here trying to kick my ass. Coming no, I tell, tell you all the time. I'm serious. He always is, always, always, always. He's like, go make me jealous. Go. Like, seriously, when I recorded he it. Be, and he might be a little jealous on, on this. He might be a, a, a teeny weeny little bit jealous. He wants to be. <laughs> he wants to be um, because he wants the best thing for me. He wants the best thing right. for the video, for the music, for all of it. He's always wanting it to be the best it can be. And he doesn't want me to be inhibited or anybody else to be inhibited okay. by okay. him. Okay, that explains a lot because we were shooting a video and basically without giving too much of, a, of it away. It's a very, like... Like, 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 innocuous, like friendly, like in the studio, but you see this person and you're kind of attracted to them in a work situation. Mm -hmm. And and it was your idea. <laughs> because it has to go somewhere. Right. It, was, it can't just yep. be the this. Right. Let me let me tell the people. So so we did it. Was, it's, the video is going great, and then we came to this other scene. The last where scene. I'm at the piano. Yeah, where I'm at the piano, and then Shante goes, "How about I straddle him?" <laughs> <laughs> While he's on the piano, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like because okay. I was sitting on the side of you, and it didn't make sense. <laughs> I was like, "All right, then, all right, then, soon." <laughs> I okay. made you blush. All I could hear was my husband. It's like, oh, he's, I know, he's, totally. right, right? He's like, go, go do it. No, but it was super fun. Now, look, I want you to um, let people know this incredible uh, uh, Far East story you got going on. Like, what is happening? What the hell did you do? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just went and sang. Uh, so I, I went to China about, let's see, 13, 14, about 16 weeks ago, 15 weeks ago, maybe a little more. And uh, I, I got a call from this lady. Uh, her name is Tay. I met her at Joey. I love you, Joey. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, we went at, uh, get everybody's name and I'll make sure I post everything. Y'all know from the thing. Anyway, so they asked me to go to China and I thought it was to uh, to be a judge like on um, like, like well, American Idol. Or something. Yeah. yeah, the voice, something like that. And I was like, oh yeah, that would be nice. That would be super. I would love that. Because who would think that they would sing at 30 years into the into their career? I, I didn't think that was going to be able to happen to me because, of course, I would love to sing. So uh, I got the call, then I got a better understanding, and in less than a week, I was in China singing on um, Singer 2024. Uh, like I was the biggest show ever. You. It was 200 million viewers every week sang live every week. Two, it was amazing. 200 million viewers? 200 million every week. It was just incredible. It was mind blowing. Honestly, I still haven't just really settled into all of what it is, but it's wonderful. And it was a lot of strain and stress. <laughs> I was really, it was nerve wracking because singing other people's songs, deconstructing and then reconstructing it and doing my my version of their songs. So if you go to Mango TV, which thank you so much, Mango TV, Mango for TV. It as well. And in China, and all of my new Chinese family and friends, and and they, it, it was life changing and life altering. It truly was. Like the day after I sang, I went on the street. Stephen and I were walking and just walking hand in hand, and people were like, oh, "Ishantimo, Ishantimo." I'm like, "Who? What? How do they know who I am?" To the meeting me in the hotel, like in the lobby, and like really just, it, they just made me feel so warm. It's. It's been an experience I will never forget, and I'll be back. I'm going back to uh, to China on uh, September. In September, I have to get the dates for you, and I will post that as well. Or I, oh, I'm in my phone now, so I can't tell you. But look it up, no. um, no. and I'll be there this. also in November, three weeks in November, and so it's I'm, been amazing. I'm gonna say this, Miss Shantae Moore. 
I like Hong Kong too. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.